Hello, my beautiful viewers. It's a wonderful afternoon here with us on Relationship Cycle. I am Gus Fibo, your host, and my co host is Abi by name. On Relationship Cycle, we will be treating the friend between LD and unhealthy relationship. Yes, and when we say relationship, we are not talking about any our relationship, not a relationship with your romance partner alone, but with your friends, families, and your circle. The difference between relationship, LD and unhealthy relationship. There are some certain relationships that we can call LD relationship. Yes. So we'll be treating everything. Okay, yes, on the show today, we'll be bringing in a very awesome guest that will be treating the topic with us so you can understand that properly. But before that, we want to go on a quick commercial. Welcome back. We'll be bringing an expert, a psychologist, a lecturer from Ogun State Institute of Technology, Ibesa, Mr. Gumbiadi. Welcome, sir. Sir, can you properly introduce yourself to our viewers? If you want to I'm Agumbiadi Bola Jibani, a lecturer in Ogun State Institute of Technology, Ibesa, Department of General Studies. You're welcome, sir. We are so pleased to have you in our midst here today. It's a good pleasure. We say a very big thank you yes, for sir. honoring our invitation. Yes, okay, the topic before us today on relationship circle is LD and unhealthy relationship. Please, sir, can you briefly explain what a relationship is? Yes, when you talk about a relationship, you need to actually make it a clear concept. There should be a conceptual clarification on what a relationship is all about before you now talk about the healthy and unhealthy relationship. <laughs> and I'll be discussing this, looking at it from sociological angle, because the, the main focus of sociology is to study human behavior within a social setting. And when you talk about a relationship, a relationship is just an interaction between group of people. It can be a, it can be a dyad relationship. When you talk about dyad, you're talking about relation between two people. And it can be a trial. Trial is relation between three people. And we have multi relation that has to do with a lot of people. And, and the edgy aspect of it is a relationship that is functional. The functionalist school of thought in sociology, they believe that in any society, everything should be function. And in case any among the institution that is called the structure of the society, is not functioning, definitely it's going to affect the entire society now. Bringing it back to the relationship we are talking about, a relationship is meant to be functional when it's actually meeting the desired needs and goals of the purpose that that relationship is serving. And when you talk about a relationship that is not, that is not healthy, that is on any relationship, we are talking about the dysfunctional in that relationship, that is, the relationship that is not working well. And what, do, and what are the attributes that makes a relationship not to function well or not to, or not, or not to be healthy? You talk about hatred. You talk about, uh, you, you talk about uh, 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 unsecured. You talk about bad communication. You talk about uh, 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 dishonest. You talk about not having, not having trust in the second party. You've listed some attributes of unhealthy relationship. Can you please explain so they can understand better? Yeah, like I told us, when you talk about relationship, relationship has to do with two or more people. Okay. You understand? It can be two, which is triad, which is dyad. It can be three, which is triad. It can be multi. That is talk about number of people involved in a relationship. And what, like I told, like I told us, what make relationship? To be eddy and what relationship not to be eddy are the what what I will call a uh, ingredient or recipe. You know when we want to prepare fried rice, we have recipe, we have ingredients yes, yes, yes. that make it to be colorful. When that recipe is not or are not adequate, definitely it won't bring out the beauty in that in in, in that food. Likewise, in relationship, when those things are not there, you talk about trust. When you are, as, are, 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 if you are having a, if you having a relationship with another partner and you cannot trust that person, definitely such relationship is not an healthy relationship. 
if it can be between husband and wife, it can be between father and the and the children. If the children cannot trust his father, if the father said I don't have money to pay your school fees, and suddenly you met your father where he's drinking a uh, uh, ten bottles of beer in a beer parlor, that means that will make you to lose confidence that about that mother. This man is not a real father. Yes, sir. And when you do when you are not secured, if, if, if someone you call your parent or someone you call your father or your mother that he cannot even protect you in terms of danger, definitely for you to actually have a cordial relationship with that person, it will be too slim for you to actually lay claim to. And another thing is communication. Some of some of some of us we don't know we don't know communication is very vital in any relationship. We use all all form of bad words, vow words against each other. That's that. You, you, just like when you compare husband and wife, the kind of relation they have, if the husband will tell you, even though because of my father, I wouldn't have married you. Even though, if not because of the situation I am, at that time I saw you, I wouldn't have actually uh, uh, thinking of uh, uh, speaking yes, with you. You understand? All those things cause what you call, causes what is called unhealthy relationship. So there are some basic rules like guiding relationship, healthy and unhealthy relationship. So please, can you please explain to us? Yes, there are many, there are many guiding principles for healthy relationship. Okay. First and foremost, you, like I told us, the relationship is it between the father to mother? Is it, is it between the parent to the children? Is it between the student in the school? Before you can actually talk of being grew up or have anybody that you want to relate with. You ought to have studied that person. Psychologically, the common sense requires you to study that person in total. For the fact that you met yourself in the school does not mean all of you are the same thing. Yes, meeting, yourself in the same, meeting yourself in the same class does not mean you have the same goals and objective. So when I was in Lagos University, during my undergraduate day, there are some set of, of students that they will tell their parents they are going to school, but they will end up spending their hours under the pedestrian bridge. What do they do there? When they see any, when they see any, any conductor that want to harass students, they are, they are the ones that, that will intervene and actually do justice. You understand? For that student. Some students are like that. Some students are in, they are, they are in school purposely to be able to fulfill their, their desire, their goals, their ambition in life. You understand? That is why the relationship in going to relationship, you have to understand study or study the person you want to relate with, and not only that, the environment. All right, sir. So let's talk about we youth of nowadays. You know, we have boyfriend and girlfriend. What are the basic take relationship? Yes, sir. So we need to know that. Yes, yeah, I'm a study of criminology. Okay. By by God's grace, my my master's uh, uh, dissertation is tied to uh, premarital cohabitation. I'm on the undergraduate public polytechnic in Ogun State, and I sample uh, uh, the opinion of our student Mapoli and Federal Polaro. Uh, and I discover students go into cohabitation. Mind you, cohabitation is an anti-value to our societal norms. A typical African person, uh, uh, cohabitation is a taboo. But these days, they are now becoming an, emb an embracing culture because of westernization, globalization, and the rest. But where I'm going is this. I discovered at the end of this, my research work, that students claimed that they go to quality because of a uh, parental problem, uh, financial problem. But yeah, we see how some students that also have the same challenges, and yet they don't go into cohabitation. Answer, ah, boys. No common because people are into one or two or three relationships <laughs> just to have this. It is very common to students now. They see cohabitation as a waste of life. Some of them, they have already, they have, they have already finished their marriage institution before they graduated. Yes. Yeah. Huh. I'm not worried that I'm also writing one now for my PhD thesis. Mm -hmm. And that is, that is a, a intimate spouse of violence and woman empowerment. Huh. If you look at them, they correlate with each other. Empowering ladies make them to see themselves as being equal with fellow men, you understand? And some they believe that by the time you empower, by the time you empower them, it will make them, it will reduce the level of violence at home. So in other words, if you look at the youth of nowadays, criminologically speaking, criminologically speaking, we see it as being functional. All the all the antisocial activity that is going on in society, 
sociologically we've seen as be functional because if those things are not in place, the society is yet to be completed. Wow, I've really, really learned a lot on the show. If you are here with us on the show, I hope you're learning something. Hmm. Okay, we say a very thank you for that piece of advice. That was a good one. Thank you, sir. Okay, sir, in little words, what can you just tell us to do when we have problems in our relationship? Let's take romance relationship now. Yeah. Like I told us, anything I want to be saying, I want to limit myself to sociological uh, 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 contribution oh. and the psychological implication. Oh, right. yes, Any relationship you are you are actually going into, like many people who are into unhealthy relationship, they it's not as if most of them don't know that they are into a relationship, but because of the fear of unknown, if I should break up with this person now, what would be the what will people be saying yeah. concerning it? Shame. Yes. You understand? There are some people that are not conscious. Kamas in sociology believe that until you until you are conscious of your state of being, you may not be able to repose what you are confronting. As a lecturer now, if I'm victimizing students, it will get to a point that students will look at it that ah, are we not a human being? Why is this man victimizing us like this? You understand? And Anytime I make a move to say, you go get out of my, my class, a student will stand up and say, sir, we are very sorry, we are also a student, and we are paying you our school fees. That will tell you that that student at that point in time is actually conscious of his time. He's conscious of himself, I mean, he's conscious of, him, of himself that why would this man be talking to me like this, as if I'm already condemned to human indifference. Okay. Yeah, that's right. So you need to be conscious when you, are, when you are conscious of your state, you'll be able to know whether to, whether to go, whether to go front or to actually move back. Right, sir. Okay, thank you very thank much, you much, sir, it's for that. Okay, we have had a lot on the show, but we are not going yet. Just stay tuned with us. Welcome back. It's on relationship circle, LD and unhealthy relationship. So we are grateful for coming. Thank you so much. Yes, Thanks for the broad you've talked to us. So we are really grateful. Thank you so much. Yeah, we are happy, happy to see you. Yeah. By next time, we should be expecting you again, right? Yes, sir? No, we hope no so. problem. All right, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, to our viewers at home, we are saying a very big thank you for joining us on the show today. If it's not without you, we can't have the show. I remain your host, God's favor, and Abimbola by name. So we'll come your way next time. Thank you. Bye bye. <music>